Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be looking into the yellow car taxi service in Greenville. This is going to be a review of the whole setup, including the building, the money-making system, how it works, and the cars, because you get some cool cars when you select the job. Now, when you first select the interactive taxi driver job, you will teleport to the building, but many of these taxi drivers actually don't know where the building is. So I'm first going to be driving you to the building in my personal car, then we're going to select the job, review the cars, and then we're going to be reviewing building, we will do some taxi runs, show you can request a taxi, and then wrap it up. And I'll tell you my favorite car, and is this a good job to use? Let's get into it. Let's pick, a, let's pick a car here to get down. I'm doing a few reviews of the new fleet today. I got a lot of cars. Let's take the 2018 became Regan car I may review. So, at dealership, spawn. Obviously, take the right here. Exiting the dealership. And, uh, first we're gonna get to there. But if you select a job, we will automatically teleport to building, because there is a building, which is kind of cool, the yellow car taxi service, so that's a, that's a 55, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to turn right out of the to the main round, you're going to go straight past it. the yellow car taxi service building is actually right here, the um, other paint shop, I just forget what it's called, by the rim shop, so past that second roundabout, going down here, passing the London Pizza Palace, and here we are going down here. You're gonna take this right. So after the Pizza Palace, you're gonna take. Is it this right? No, it's this right. I'm very sorry. It's been a while since I've driven down there. So you're not gonna take the first right, you see. You're not. So we're gonna go down here, pass in this building. And you can see the Just By sign over there. Then we take this right down this road. this left heading down to that mechanic shop which many of you may know is finally being able to paint your car there so it's actually good because you can get rims right across the street and paint your car there so you're gonna pass Gary's and just like that a little further down the road you're gonna see the sign for the yellow car taxi service building you've arrived this is where you're going to spawn in when you first select your job we're going to review this building, we're going to review the cars, we're going to do a taxi run, show you can request a taxi, and I'll pick my favorite car to use for such. So, you don't have to drive here, so once you go here, your interactive job is in a tap, press taxi driver, and uh, let's select job, and as you'll notice, bam, we're right here. You will notice this calls. We'll talk about that setting up there in a little bit. And as you can see, when you first spawn, if you choose to drove here, your car will stay. So let's get into the building. Yellow car, taxi service. You got a sign there. You got a building there with the logo. You come inside. You got a pair of computer with the cool keyboard and chairs. And back here, we got this room, which is a restroom. And uh, this is another area. You have this office. This office. Emergency. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. I guess this is where you would get your taxi fix. So if you needed to work on it, you would uh, work on it there. And an office by such, we can obviously set that off if we choose to do so. Going into this area, we are outside by the dumpster. Let's go back to here. Offices, offices, a lot of offices. It's a nice area, and um, outside the building will take you through a tour and free cam of the phone. You will notice there's a taxi app. We're going to talk about that in a uh, split second so let's get into the free cam mode here bam so nice outside building we got the garage for the workshop where you can drive the car in back area not the crazy just some fences and uh, you got this dumpster of sorts here looking all good it's a nice little building it's good that we have this taxi building and if you wanted to really be realistic Maybe your car gets damaged, you bring it here and kind of simulate it being fixed, should you choose to do so. 
So now let's talk about the cars. So if when you go to spawn your car, you'll notice there's now your garage tab and your job vehicles tab. The fire department service also has that. And here we scroll through a list of cars. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cars, I believe, to choose to drive and take people around in. So we're going to start with the 2021 Velfire Robust Taxi. Most of these taxis are like base models of cars. How we can tell is it has um, plastic mirrors. So let's take this car. Really, minor reviews, you know, it's really the same as a Robust. Nice looking. But they're all going to be this yellow with some sponsors. Your taxi number at the top, in this case 474, does change. It changes actually, which I think is quite cool. So you'll have a random generated number each time you spawn it. And a random generated uh, um, promotion sign on the top. In this case we got a Corbetta and it's discussing plates for the DMV. So that's kind of cool. Yellow car in the back. You got a plate. I think the plates may be different for the taxi. Now, I, you cannot modify your job vehicles, so you're basically stuck with this, with these rims, which are actually steelies with some plastic rim covers, that's another key indicator this is a base. Lights, very nicely detailed, again, they really just took the model of the Robust and just gave it the taxi look, everything's nice, automatic headlights, they look nice, bright, and obviously the automatic, so the sun sets, you can turn those on, reverse lights are good. Horn is, uh, eh, you know, what are you gonna do? It sounds okay. I don't know if it's not one of those weird hybrids where you can't rev it. We're gonna take it out for a drive here. We're just gonna do some minor speed runs down these roads. So this is a good one because it's an SUV. It seats, really, you sit in the back, so you can get three in the back. Yeah, it's good. good. And, uh, these are reasonably good cars. No, not that bad. They get the job. Brakes are good, not a bad car. It definitely picks up. Uh, it's a definitely quicker acceleration than I thought it would be, so it's not a bad car. Uh, definitely not a bad car. Many people prefer driving SUVs, and I feel like more of these modern taxis are SUVs. So you can choose a nice SUV to drive. I think it's uh, quite good. Uh, I kind of lost where we started. Here we go. So there you have it, 121 miles an hour. Again, you're not looking for performance. It's a free car. You're going to get tax people around. So if you wanted a modern SUV, you could choose to do so. Next car is going to be the 2008 Chrysler Suburia Taxi. The minivan. It's an older minivan. Uh, so this is a tank. This is a uh, handicap one. We got handicap symbols. So this is if you wanted to do some handicap versions you could choose to do so uh this looks i'll stall it this looks pretty nice again based off the normal car you know you just have it yellow this does not have the spots plate just a random generated number looks like a base model again with the steelies with the rim covers yellow car flying airport fee i forgot to tell you they all have that 25 cents per mile that's not really true and we have the uh, handicapped uh, logo there so i guess a um someone who is disabled you would, you, you would do that. You would use this car. So, I didn't know that because I haven't used this car yet, which is interesting. Looks quite nice. I don't think it does. No, it does not have automatic headlights, so we'll have to manually turn these on. Headlights look fine. Hazards are okay. Again, it's an older car. You know, not an older model, just in real life, it's an older car. Uh, you do have brights, which is always good. And the, uh, click it into reverse. Reverse lights are fine. Again, it's a new model. Pretty much based off the normal edition of this car. Take this thing out for a speed run. Not a bad car. Definitely slower. Definitely slower than that, uh, than that robust. It's definitely slower. But it's a mini from 2008. Is it 2008? Real slow acceleration. We're gonna need a lot of room to get this thing up to its near speed. Started and uh, 
review the next one. Again, these are the little reviews. If you guys really want me to go more in depth with each vehicle, let me know. I'm just giving an overview of the cars, let you know what vehicles you want, and um, I'll give you which one I, that I like the most for doing tax work. Because I do this tax work once in a while. And I'll also determine if this job is worth it. do a tax event soon. I'm very, very excited to show you guys the system. But we still have a few more cars to review. So next on our list of cars is the one I've really used a lot. The 2020 Velfire Permia Taxi. They're all going to be taxi. It's basically a Permia. Base model. Basically. It looks the same. This doesn't have the steel rim covers. This is actual rims. One little exhaust pipe doesn't have the four tip exhaust pipe set up. Random number, random sponsor. It looks like we have a a Super Witch promotion. And though this is not a bad car. This is not a bad car at all. Hazards look very nice. Automatic headlights. Eh. No brights. No brights. No, no brights. You don't get brights with this car. Um, the taillights look fine. Again, nothing great. They are automatic though, as I said. Uh, yeah, it sounds like an alien. Don't worry about that. Fine. Nothing crazy. The blinker lights are the best. And the blinker lights are the matter most. So, there you have it. Uh, fire it up. Now, this is a car where you, like, can't rev it. I think it's a hybrid. You can't... You can't... Rev it. So, just dump it and drive. This is quick. Sorry. This is a quick car. There we go. Yeah. You can throw in the sport. There we go. That's fast. For, for a taxi, no fire permit, this is a fast car. I don't know anything. There you have 117 miles an hour. And we'll uh, take this car out. I love this car. This is the one. Painting it, which one the bigger one here. But actually, I haven't used all these yet, so uh, we'll take a look at the others. Again, kind of the same. Design. The only one that was really different was the minivan because it was suitable for handicap, which I actually which now makes me think that's a very, very, very useful car to have. Oh. So, yeah. so there you have it, there's the uh, Fermi one I've been talking about. And we're going to switch to the next car, which is going to be the Velfire Prima the, from 2010. Oh man. Alrighty, so basically the same as the normal one, looks the same, same design, it is stuck in the building, I think. Looks the same, it's basically the same, no automatic headlights. Lights are fine, this is a weird taillight, though. but it gets the job done, blinkers are good, we do have brights in this car, which is nice. Reverse lights are good, I'm sorry, I forgot the horn in the other car. This is the horn, horns are... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. We'll, uh... They're probably all similar. There's your horn. Sorry about that. Again, these aren't really detailed reviews. We're kind of just overviewing the car. No sponsor plan on this one. Again, just that little thing. Keep calling it sponsor. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Let's let's do a fix the time. 
There we go. Seven o'clock. In the morning. Moving on to the next car on this list is the 2020 Velfire Florence Taxi. So a newer minivan. Uh, again, another base model. Another handicap accessible car. So if you wanted one a little newer, here you have it. Looks nice, looks new again, similar to the other one with the handicap thing. We do have a sponsor plate on this car. Uh, you can see the normal taillights. Automatic headlights look nice, look nice. Horn is a horn. Is pretty good considering what this car is. Uh, base model. We have real rims, but you know, black painted door handles. Really don't love those. But what are you gonna do? It works fine because a lot of the decals are in black, so so big deal. Blinkers look good and all that. Reverse light look fine. This is not a bad car. Get down the road and uh, again, it's very. It's going to be like the same car. So maybe you drive this, you really like it, and if you like the dealership, it's probably the base model. So, uh, it doesn't give you the trim because it's a taxi edition, but I feel like a lot of this car is going to be more in And it's 117, it got there. But I did not realize it got there. Oh, yeah, it actually sells it's pretty good. Especially considering it's a minivan, this is definitely good. I wish it was I wish it was that. I don't Because this body is good and it's in a model. They should have the new I don't know if they have the model, But they need to have this. this. Yet, yet it's a 2020. I feel like the newer one would look better against the other two. So there you have that one. Moving on to the final car, the 2007 Falcon Prime Taxi. The legendary taxi has arrived. And it's real crazy rims. V8, sedan, old, junky, but nice. Sponsors, no, uh, no, 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 uh, motion plate. This is nice, actually. I don't think you can buy this car. Yes. It sounds. Good. This is a car. Headlights are. Oh boy. They are bad. No brights. Blinkers are bad. Oh, the back is good. The back is good. But I guess it's it's not there. Oh, look, the top ones. The, 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 well, I don't think all the top ones do that. I think it's just this, maybe. I don't know. That's cool. That's really cool. Uh, reverse lights are fine. Oh, they're over there. I <laughs> actually just sneak attack me. I wasn't really uh, paying attention. Oh yeah, this is sick. This is mega booty right here. This car can do burnouts. I want to do burnouts. We're doing burnouts. Now. Now see how fast it goes. the GVOS phone, you would open it up, there's a new app created called Taxi. Press Taxi app. You can request a taxi. If you move too far away from your current location, it will be the nights. You would request it, you would wait at your location, and someone would show up. In this case, there's one person in the server, private server. If you request someone and there's a driver, they would get the request and they would drive to you. Where do they get it? Right up here. When you select the job, you got this button. One free calls, show calls, 
here we have it. It's going to give you the pay. The pay range is about from $30 to $100. That's about the range. And you make the money from driving. Most people I've talked to, including using this job myself, feel like the money from the taxi run is like a bonus and you're really just making money from driving. Interactive jobs definitely aren't the best way to make money. But this is fun because you get some, a, um, you get some cars to play around with. It's a different experience. You know, you have games that, car games that are trust taxis. Here we have Greenville having some taxi fun in a realistic way. So what we'll do is I'll first tell you my favorite car. Out of all these cars we reviewed, my favorite car is going to be the 2020 Velfire Permia Taxi. I don't love driving around SUVs or minivans. As cool as this is cool too. This is a cool taxi, but as far as doing the taxi roleplay, I want to have a more modern car, a bit more of a professional look, something a bit nicer to drive around. I would say my second option would be the the Robust. If you like SUVs, the Robust. Nice new. And if you're more of a car, sedan kind of guy like me, I'd go for the Permia. So we're going to be doing a taxi run with this car. I've taught you how you can request your taxi. Now we're going to do one. So, roadmap. It'll tell you where they are. This farms. Farm 1, Farm 2, Farm 3. So, But when you uh, click it, you can either use your GPS or there will be something in the air, which we'll do. So we'll claim. And if you look around, there it is. The pickup sign. We're going to drive to that pickup. But since it says roadmap, we should all know where roadmap is. So we're gonna go for a little run. Back to the so this is what happens. Back to where we Then we're going to drive to where we So you get your call, you're good to go. You can either GPS, but not the GPS. The GPS, GPS, that's all of the locations. So they put that sign in the sky as well. Guide. Now it is, if, if, if you're really relying on that sign, it's definitely going to be difficult to more normally drive there on the roads and stuff. But if you're going to go crazy off road, please drive about 55, 60 miles. You can make pay. The main pay for the job. Which makes it look better than working on the twist. Because you're driving, you're making driving. While the little bonus on I would say this is a, it's still because you're playing and it's a driving game and you're going to be driving around for jobs. So I like the fun Think of it. Uh, this is good. So we make it to our destination here in our car. And, go to the five. and you'll notice there's that red square. It's a nice red square. Pick up our person. If someone were to request a taxi, oh, look at that, it's me. If someone were to request a taxi, they would be there, or it's going to be a robo player. They generate robo players and make them look like players in the game. So the NPCs look like players in the game. I am the only player in the game. So you go to the square, you pick this person up. If it was a real person, they would chat to you or GUS message you where they would like to go. But if it's a NPC, there's going to be a drop-off sign. We're going to drive to there. We have our customer. That red square does not disappear. That stays to the next taxi. And now we drive down to our destination in our car, receive the money. But what's funny is when you press this, the NPC doesn't, it doesn't show the NPC taking up the seat. So really, you just fill your friends in this car. And then the end just kind of where it goes. So I taxi myself since I'm the only player. If I were to do another run, it would be me again, my character. So we're going to take this person to their desired destination. And you can see it's claimed $46.8 miles. And when you request a taxi, it'll let you know when someone is taking up and are on their way. So you can stay on your phone, and it will show they're getting closer, so at least you will know. Getting your taxi soon. And it looks like it's going to be the Lakeville lot. 
So that's a they kind of, what Greenville did was they choose destinations and pickups where you would pick people up, and it's always the same area. Like I've done this a lot. That's the exact spot where we drop. So we pull in with our customer. Park relatively in that red square. It's not a car parking game where you need to like get perfect. You just get in that square. The person will walk out. You will receive the money. And now you wait for the next call. So what I like to do is I like kind of just drive out. That's going to be our attack. So. And we basically have it. So we're going to end this. And, uh, really, it can be right away we get another call. Or... Okay. Sometimes it takes longer. Sometimes it's quick to uh, generate. And you don't want to attack. So if you have multiple tents in the server, you'll be able to spawn more than one phone, so you're not stuck waiting for them. So it works. They've done it well, it works. It's a good system. Again, you're really just making money off of six, whatever. It's the driving money, which varies depending on how, how fast or slow you choose to drive the car. So you really, it's mostly driving money, and the bonus is the 30 to 100 dollars from making the taxi run. And another fun element, see there it is, another call pops in, next stop, select it, drive there, pick up that person, take them to their destination, and this particular call is 77, one of the higher things. It's a little bonus, you're really making the money for driving, which is why I recommend going to speed. 60, 65 miles an hour, those are all 55 to 65 miles an hour is a good range for driving. Don't pick this job if you're on a serious grind for money. Do it on interactive. But if you're looking for something fun, get some free cars, play around, do something different, I do recommend it. And I'd say as far as interactive jobs go, this is one of the best. And here we are, ending it. Here at the, uh, where we first started. And uh, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Have a great day.